Hello everybody and welcome to Change Bible Study. Today as we understand uh, air and the need of it, we want to focus on our breathing and how that is the, the mechanism that God has given us to, to take in the air that he built us to depend on and to thrive on even. If you look in Genesis chapter 2, you'll see that that is where life itself started. In Genesis chapter 2, after the Lord had formed man, look at what the Bible says in verse number 7. It says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. If you're reading in the King James Version, you'll see that it says that man became a living soul. Here we see what constitutes a soul. It is dust plus the breath of God. The body, void of that breath, is it no longer exists as a soul. But together, that is how we constitute a soul. And that is how God decided to create us, to depend on this breath, not only to start, but to continue. That's what we understood yesterday. But let's go deeper and understand why good breathing is so important. In the Lord's design of his creation, and specifically humans, uh, he, he made us with lungs. And so I got a vegetable or produce bag that you would get in a grocery store because it really simulates how our lungs look and even operate. This lung tissue is, the way the Lord designed it, is that it would be strengthened as it is stretched. As it's stressed or, or, or expanded, that's how it would grow stronger and really maintain its optimum uh, uh, performance. So if I were to take this bag and blow in it, but not blow it all the way, you see here that uh, it's still, I can push it, I can move it. Because it's not at maximum capacity, uh, it is, it's bendable, it, it's not full or strong. So the way to get it strong or taut is to blow in it and fill it up. In the same way, the Lord designed us to not just breathe a little bit, or but to breathe all that we can and fill our lungs to the full. So that in filling it to the full, that's when it's at its strongest. <laughs> in the same way, when we think about our spirits so, and we think about how God made us to not just have uh, mostly him or some of him, but he wants us to have all of him to be completely full to bear his fruit. So that's why we wouldn't want to live superficially. We don't want to breathe superficially. We want to breathe in all the air that we possibly can and try and, and, and habitualize ourselves to breathing full, deep breaths which will also mean that we have to spend less time talking, letting out a lot of hot air, but let's spend more time taking in good air. Because not all good air is, not all air I should say, is good air. Going outside, getting natural air, trying to get away as much as we can from you know, the smog or, 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 or smoke, as much as we can. Because wherever we are, God will bless that as we do our balanced best. But remember friends, let's try to breathe deep breaths, filling up those lungs, Spending less time talking, more time thinking, observing, listening. There's a reason why God gave us one mouth, but two eyes and, and two ears. There's a reason for everything. And that reason is always the love of God and his life for us. So until next time, friends, let's take deep breaths, full breaths, and remember that change.